Hey guys, it's the Granny, and I'm back. And today I have a uh, another playtesting match against Chris. This was our second match. Um, I know this was supposed to be probably uploaded about a week ago. Uh, I've been busy. I've been at a marathon all week, um, so I couldn't really get anything uploaded because I'd be gone from like seven in the morning most days till probably around seven at night, and I'd be too tired to upload a video. Or anything. I'd actually. I had a guy staying with me. Uh, his name is Matt Jack Russo. Really cool guy. He's actually starting up a channel. Um, I believe his channel name is like X Dirk Lance X. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, he's trying to get big, and I, I know, and like he's promoting the game like I am. So I'm just gonna like help promote for him, and I'm gonna leave a link to his channel in the description below. Check it out. I mean, he's pretty good. Uh, but we both, me and him, ran into a couple bad lucks and a couple bad breaks, which it happens, you know. Um, I got a ninth, fifteenth, and seventeenth place. Uh, out of the seven tournaments I went to, I didn't get any championship points uh, because my ninth and fifteenth were under sixty-four total attendance for uh, Masters Division. And it has to be 64 for me to at least get points in those spots. But I was fine with it. I knew I did well. Um, a lot of my matches that I did lose were pretty close. And I thought it was it was a good weekend. Or a good week, actually. Uh, my meta was, like, completely insane. Uh, I believe the first day we had a Blastoise deck win. Uh, next two days, we actually had Rayo's win. Uh, the day after that, we had a Blastoise deck. The day after that, we had a Hammer Time deck win, which was really nice. And he played it right at the right time because nobody was expecting it to win the, that day, and it did. Um, the next day, uh, so what was that? Four? Five? That was five. So the next day, uh, a big Basics deck won, which is Tornado Slanderous Mewtwo, uh, can run Terrakian or Buffalant. And that deck won. And then the next day, another kid that I've uh, become kind of close to, his name is um, Austin Bags. Uh, I've lost, that was the guy that beat me at uh, my first city this year. Um, he actually won the last day uh, with another big basics deck. And he, his deck is actually really consistent. And he's beat me so many times with it. And I'm just like, whatever, man. Um, but yeah. <laughs> It was a good weekend overall. I met some pretty cool people. Uh, I met Jeremy Jallen, Chase Neiman, and Kenny Wisdom from On the Bubble. They're also a new show, kind of similar to The Top Cut. Uh, very, very just nice people. They're so like nice and like offering for the game and whatnot. Uh, it was really nice hanging around them. I uh, met Tyler McCutcheon, uh, John Kettler, but I've already met Kettler once before. Um... Who else did I meet? I, I met so many just like amazing players this weekend that it was ridiculous. Um, kind of want to go over my uh, last day's performance, uh, which was yesterday. I hardly remember any other days. Uh, it was really hard. Oh, I can tell you what I ran though. Uh, first off, uh, the first day I ran a deck called Pangea, which uh, Jeremy Jallen actually um, built and. That deck is really good. It's like four Tornadus EX, two Landers EX, two Sigilith, and one Meloetta. Basically, you just try to knock out everything that uh, knocks out your Sigilith. And then you just wall with your Sigilith. So it's really nice. I like it. Um, I went 4 3 that day, though, uh, which was okay. The next day, I decided to run Darkrai Hydreigon. I believe yes, I did. Um, started off 1-0, beat uh, James Proctor, who I've become really close to. He such a great man. I really like him. I've talked to him a lot. Uh, even now, like after he left, he left a day early so he could get back home because of a snowstorm uh, heading through. He came from Missouri. Um, he even like got a hold of me. Uh, through Facebook and stuff and was asking like how I was doing uh, that day and like just keeping up with me 
just a really nice guy, uh, wanting to know if I'm coming up uh, to his state for uh, winter regionals and whatnot. Really nice. I, I like him a lot and his kids. They were just so cool and pretty chill to hang around with. So I played Dark Rye Hydragon. Uh, second round, I played Martin Moreno, who actually won nationals a couple years ago. But I'm kind of upset with that guy right now. He's in like a big scandal, so uh, I'm not going to talk much about it. And that's it. Just going to lay low off of that. Um, I, I lost to him, and he ended up winning later on that day with Ray Eels, which was okay. And it actually came down to if he had an energy in his hand um, after I knocked out uh, something. I can't re really remember what. Uh, he just needed energy in his hand, and he won the game. Uh, and he did. So that was it. I was okay with that. I ended up finishing the day three and four. Um, that kind of started a bad luck train. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, I understand it happens sometimes. Uh, the next day, I ran Ho. Uh, started 2 0 with Ho, I believe. Yeah, I started. No, wait. I think I started 2 0. I can't really remember. Um, I might have started 1 0. I, the first round match, though, I played uh, Mad Jack Russo, which I said earlier he was staying with me. Uh, I know I'm not talking much about this match here. Um, really, like, honestly, the only reason I'm not talking much about it is because this this match I, I can, like, steamroll Chris. But um, you'll see here in a minute, he's actually going to get a Rare Candy Gardevoir, and he is going to start... Uh, hitting me for or milling my deck for a lot and it's it gets really scary um so yeah uh but back to what i was saying for the city championships uh start 1-0 at least beat matt jackaruso first round which was really funny i knew he was playing caudio blastoise and he knew i was playing ho -Oh. i knew his blastoise list because i looked at it the night before because i was thinking about playing blastoise myself um, then he knew my ho list because uh, we kind of borrowed it from Puka or Kyle Susevich. Um, so he knew exactly what I was playing. I knew exactly what he was playing. Um, and our our game went to time, but like we we knew what was going on, um, and it just got down. I took way too many prizes, and he just couldn't come back from it. So that was all right. Um, I ended up losing to. James Proctor later on in the tournament or like right after that maybe two rounds or so I finished the day at three and four it was very it was a depressing day as I thought I'd do really well that day but that's all right um the next three days I ran rails and finished I want to say three four again four two and one three drop um the one three drop was just an awful day I honestly think, and my friend Matt Jackaruso also finished 1-3 drop, and I think we probably, that was our day we shouldn't have even played. We should have just taken the day off, gone and got like food or something, I don't know, um, just taking a day off from the game, because when you go to a marathon, honestly, you need to choose a day at least and just take the day off from it, but I did not, and that's what happens to you. So yeah, um, Chris actually just milled my deck for eight. Eight cards he milled my deck. That is huge with Swoobat. And I only have one energy on the field. I've got to hit some cards here, and I'm not really doing so well that that way. Um, but back to what I, what I was saying. The last day, I finally played Keldeo Blastoise. Um, I figured it'd be a good play that day, as a lot of people were getting back into Landorus. And... It was a good play. Uh, I started 3-0. Um, felt really comfortable. I had two turn two Blastoise, two fully powered Keldeos uh, out of those two out of the three uh, O matches. And it was just huge, like having a great day at that point. Um, ended up getting to face my friend Brandon Smiley, um, who just aged up from seniors but is really good. Got a top 16 performance last year at Worlds for seniors. And he is just really good. Um, I knew he was playing Ho. Uh, he knew I was playing Blastoise, so we were going at it. And um, we sat down pretty early because we had a lunch break. And we sat down early. And 
uh, he, he just asked me, you want to play a fun game? And I was like, sure, man, let's go. So we have a fun game. And uh, off the fun game, he donks my Squirtle. Like, uh, just was able to get a, a turn one donk. He went first and donked my Squirtle. And we were just like, all right, whatever. So we shuffled our decks and just kind of sat there waiting for the round to start. The round starts. He goes first again. And I have to start Lone Squirtle. And this is scary. And he starts Mewtwo. Ends up being able to hit a Donk again. And I... So we basically played two matches. And I didn't even get to go. And it was just... I just looked at him and was like, dude. I hate you. <laughs> and that that hatred actually came from when I bubbled at ninth one day. Uh, he got 8th. And got in. And I was pretty upset with him about that. But... Me and him are still pretty cool. Um, he knew I was just messing with him. We kept talking afterwards and like just kind of hung out uh, until everybody else finished. But yeah, um, overall, Marathon is pretty fun. If you've never been to one, you should honestly go. Um, afterwards, you'll probably hate it. Uh, but right now, I'm taking a break from playing, uh, especially online. Uh, the only thing I, I really like started testing is I found a really good hammers list. Uh, it's really just a speed dark ride list. I've almost hit turn one night spear like three times by now. Um, just amazing list, and I can't believe it's like that fast and that good. Uh, if I don't hit the turn one night spear, I almost always hit a turn two night spear, um, which is ridiculous in this firm format. Hitting a T one night spear and then T two uh, almost every game. You, you can't beat that unless you just power up a Keldeo turn two. That, that's almost impossible to beat. So yeah, um, overall, had a really fun time. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll probably get some more. I have two more playtesting matches, but I don't really feel like uploading those. I don't think they're really necessary, but I'll hit up some play TC, or PTCGO, and I'll get those. I know a lot of people like real-life matches, better but I know I can get uh, a better like plays from PTCGO right now uh, I'll try to get that soon uh, for everyone it'll be a little easier next week as I won't be uh, with Leah uh, all the time and that's not a bad thing I love hanging out with her I haven't seen her in like a week basically because I've been at a marathon so I'm probably gonna end up going and uh, she'll be back at school next week, whereas I have the whole week off still for college, and she'll be back in high school because she's just a little bit younger than I am. Um, so I'm gonna probably just like leave basically uh, next Saturday to go back to college, and I will try to get some PTCGO matches um, next week uh, while she's in school and I'm basically doing nothing at home. So yeah. Um, pretty much after that, there's really nothing I can say all that well. Um, I guess I can probably try to get in to this match. I'm honestly just, right now, I'm thinking, what can I do? Do I load up a Mewtwo here? Um, if I do, it could be a bad situation. If he gets a Mewtwo out, um, then I can't really do anything. But looking at his hand, it looks like he has two Psychic and an Eviolite. So, if he hits an Ultra Ball, okay, well, that's just luck for him. But, um, I figure that's not going to happen. So, I believe here I Skylid, it looks like. And I'm not going to take anything, just going to leave everything in my deck, just in case he's able to start milling me. Uh, I just need as many cards as possible. So, yeah. Um, also thinking... Uh, I probably won't be at any Winter Regionals uh, coming up on January 19th and 20th, as that is my birthday weekend. Uh, my birthday is January 18th, by the way, um, which is probably about two weeks from Friday, I want to say. Two weeks from Friday? Yeah, two weeks from Friday. Um, I mean, wait, is it? Today's it. Hold on. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, I think. I don't know, dude. I'm so confused right now. I'm tired. As I said, I've been at a marathon all week. I'm so tired. Um, I was able to fix the background noise. I know some people were like, dude, the background noise was awesome and it was funny. And 
the, it just even got better like afterwards but I had to get rid of it it sometimes it was actually kind of inappropriate and just like stupid talk and like all that and um but yeah uh I probably won't be at winter regionals as there aren't any in Texas because Texas already had their regionals and uh I don't really have the money to travel to like California or uh what is it uh St. Louis or Florida but um I'm thinking if I can save up I'm going to try to go to a spring regional um and on the spring regional uh I might go to the Massachusetts uh spring regional which is in Foxborough and it's actually at Gillette Stadium I believe is what it is it's where the uh New England Patriots play um which is actually really cool that uh their PTO up there uh his name's Tom I've actually heard a lot about him uh from Matt Jackaruso who just moved down from there um he's told me a lot that like Tom is just a really cool guy um I'm sure one of my subscribers is going to comment about it and if he comments about it I'll be like boom got it <laughs> and uh but yeah um it was really cool that Tom could like get that that's just like awesome to have that um I believe his name was Tom I don't know like I said I'm so tired I don't remember half the stuff that's gone on this past week um but yeah uh I'm probably gonna like start something cool uh honestly uh, on my dark rye mat uh when I'm playing hammers if I hit a T1 Night Spear, I'm going to make them sign it under, like, something that says victims or something like that, so they can, like, so I can, like, be like, this is how many victims I, I've had a T1 Night Spear of, and it's actually really funny, and, like, I've just, like, seen it and was like, dude, this is going to be epic, it'll be freaking awesome and so funny, but, yeah, um, like I said, I'm sorry, you guys, I, I wasn't able to upload any sooner um but i will be back to uploading probably every monday wednesday friday again uh but i am not chris here is going for a super scoop up to lose that way um because i i basically just beat him here and that's all there is to it um so yeah you guys thanks for watching um i really appreciate it and that's the end of the match uh, thanks for watching again, and till next time, uh, I'll have a PTCGO match then, so yeah, uh, see ya.